Today's video is going to be shocking for most people. During the 21st Divine Intervention Meditation Stream launched by our YouTube channel DNA Awakening, we have received an unexpected strike from several dark forces, trying to stop and mess with our meditation session, but in fact they couldn't. And our live stream has accomplished the 11 hours, 11 minutes and 11 seconds, which is the divine light code. As a response, they attempted to take down our website, dnaawakening.org, and regrettably they were succeeded. Which caused an unexpected blackout while our followers trying to access our website, so many people contacted us, and they have notified us about this attacks, we also have noticed this. I spent 72 hours to solve it. And then, we have succeeded. Started over a brand new fresh blog website, with the latest news and updates. Divine ones, no matter what the dark forces are trying to do for us, and to shut down our purpose and service to light, which is to awaken the human population on Mother Earth. But they will never succeed. Now, the light has won. Today I will speak to you about some heating up events, so please listen carefully and watch this video to the end, and share it as much as you can. Now, shall we begin? An active spiritual war against mankind is being conducted by non-human controllers on a global scale, extending to off-planet wars in the parking lot of extraterrestrial vessels in the Kuiper Belt, among other places. When we enter stages of social disintegration, such as those that are now taking place, it implies that the energy fields become more destabilized and the external conflicts and disorder get more intense. Non-human controllers are waging an aggressive spiritual battle against mankind, which has spilled over into off-planet wars in the parking lot of ET vessels in the Kuiper Belt, among other places. If any of these energy repercussions appear on our timeline, or whether those conflicts will be neutralized and made invisible, is up in the air as a result of these concealed happenings. The discussions on the topics that may or may not manifest themselves as a major event between now and March 2022 are still happening. Strange global happenings, such as foreign governments declaring war on one another, war declarations. The nuclear program in the United Kingdom is known as Trident with Poseidon vessels, and it is linked to the Red Cube system in the United States. Even if they do pull this off, it will be primarily for show and out of desperation on their part, since they are well aware that there will be no nuclear catastrophe. For diversion and cover, smaller scale false flag operations, terrorism carried out by black military intelligence, are used. The implosion of the Western world's financial markets and currencies, the unexpected deaths and disappearances of world leaders, celebrities, and royals, including the Queen of England people we thought were dead were discovered to be alive and under witness protection. A satellite-based emergency broadcast system run by a military base or a space mission crew, the temporary suspension or denial of access to certain online services control structures, i.e., hospitals and medical systems, airlines, travel and shipping supplies, etc. collapse and controlled destruction. Consequently, supply chains in particular countries, such as the United States, may be closed, and we may no longer have access to certain items or products originating in other nations. When some sites, like the White House or the Washington DC region, are demolished or repurposed, the process is known as EMP. An admission that bio-weapon injection has killed far more people than we are led to believe. They have been concealing fatalities and keeping track of which vaccination batches have been administered. There will be widespread recognition of genocide, and those responsible will be brought to justice by a tribunal. Recently, five beneficent organizations were alerted of possible human genocide offenses. They are now debating what to do about it. This covert space program coordinated the revelation of their presence in a breakaway society, as well as the technology they had, in order to expose the struggle against non-human creatures or demonic forces known as aliens. Human trafficking, blood and body parts harvesting, organ trafficking, pedophilia, and child adrenochrome farms in subterranean bases and bunkers, as well as supplies from other planets. In addition, 
the presence of deep subterranean tunnels and military outposts that acted as a safe refuge for inhuman demonic beings and extraterrestrials to prey on people was confirmed by many sources. The presence of subterranean cities, which are employed by the Luciferian bloodlines and nameless billionaires to conceal wicked satanic elite activities, is a well-documented reality. Rapid adoption of new technology are radical changes that have a significant impact on society as we know it today. The disintegration of the mainstream media, as well as an invasion and or the fall of Israel. In order to fall into the globalist slavery system of collectivism via techno-totalitarianism, some of these groups are coercing nations in Western cultures to collapse democratic or libertarian-based ideologies that support individual sovereignty in order to fall into the globalist slavery system of collectivism via techno-totalitarianism. A bizarre and unique series of events is taking place in the numerous dimensions of the planetary chessboard. If any of these hidden events emerge, we will be faced with a high level of weirdness in deciding whether any of these energetic repercussions will manifest on our timeline or if those conflicts will be neutralized and made inconspicuous on our timeline. In a false flag operation, the neutralization of effects is an incident or disaster that happens but is not observed by the majority of the population, leading the majority of the population to be oblivious to what is taking place. The majority of those living in our town should be aware that we do not currently have a functioning news media. Control organizations manage military intelligence in collaboration with the mainstream media, which means that the mainstream news sources are completely controlled propaganda mills. This makes the present situation very tough since we are weakened as a result of our lack of access to current information and our inability to determine the location of hot combat as it is being carried out. Something else has escalated in what seems to be some type of strategic activity that is tied to some kind of military-grade operation during the past several weeks or so. In spite of the fact that I am neither an insider nor do I have any ties to the military, I have a strong sense that military operations are being carried out on another defensive stage on the East Coast, and that what I can only describe as strategic chess moves are taking place in the midst of these end-time battles. Both spiritual and psychological warfare are involved, and as many of us can confirm, the degree of demonic deceit, gaslighting, and falsehoods being spread to the general public is beyond our ability to convey in words. March 2022 is still looming large as a watershed moment in history, one that opens the door to new possibilities for many of us as we continue to move ahead in our careers and personal lives. For many of us right now, it seems like we are being kept captive in a bizarre state of wait and see. We may feel lonely, imprisoned, and immovable because we are trapped in a vacuum of nothingness, while many individuals in our immediate vicinity are still unaware that we are engaged in an active battle that is raging against all that is human. As has been said several times, this is the period of time during which we will incur losses in this conflict. People places, and things might come crashing down around them because they have no clue what is going on, and they accept the propaganda streams of lies and deception that are being pumped out at them. It seems that when the time comes for the transition and tipping point in the collective, it will be based on certain fundamental themes, and those themes are being presented this week as being amplified, which is why I am providing this information with you now. Holidays and weekends are often used by the controllers to carry out tasks that are not visible to the general public, such as surveillance. They are also referred to as white hats in certain circles. They are more likely to utilize holidays or long weekends to carry out some kind of tactical action. They are fully aware of satanic festivals, full moons, and other days that are associated with ritualistic practices. With current activities taking place in the field, the end of the year and the beginning of the holiday season seem to have a lot more significance this year. There are a large number of military troops from several nations participating in a series of war games and simulated exercises at the moment. Because the events of this stage are wholly unexpected, it is impossible to forecast the precise timing of collective occurrences at the zero point of time. Despite what it seems to be, we have not been abandoned and we are not losing the fight. It is the enormous pain of individuals we love and care for who have been taken in by the darkness of deception and falsehoods, 
as well as the fact that many have been injured as a result of believing these lies, that is the most difficult issue we all face. However, when and if they do depart their bodies, they will be in a much better state since they will have had a short review of their lives and will have been freed from the mental control they have been subjected to on this plane of existence. At this stage, it is difficult to predict what measures can be taken to mitigate the impacts of the bioweapons given the large number of beneficent actions and clearings that are occurring simultaneously. Although I believe that this is being done in order to avoid a major die-off of the injected people, I am unclear of how much can be neutralized and what exactly has to be done since many souls will opt to depart the world. When the change reaches its tipping point, it might occur anytime between now and the first quarter of next year, and it will be marked by a major worldwide event of some type that is spectacular, cannot be concealed, and that the general public will be aware of and understand. With this event, there is a lot of heating up going on right now. When it comes to dominoes and wild cards, it is important to remember that the controllers have been doing everything they can to conceal the truth, subvert this benevolent agenda, redirect, and distract the masses so that they will not figure out what is going on and who has been orchestrating the divide and conquer strategy as well as the use of bioweapon psyops. Those of us who are still able to think clearly in the midst of the fog of war may plainly see that the injection symptoms are encouraged varieties. The purposeful injury and tormenting of people and other living things is something that both of us hate. As a result, the United States is strategically essential in both spiritual warfare and global warfare against the controllers, who are the selected bloodlines and aliens who operate at the very top of the global control pyramid. It is important to remember that many of the people in charge of the NAW agenda seem to be human, but they are not. They are the ones who have been placed in charge by their superiors in order to cultivate mankind for their species. While it may be difficult to watch the harm and devastation that is occurring throughout the world, as well as the fact that humanity will have to recover from post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, as a result of what has occurred, as well as having lived through a real-time genocide, it is necessary. When we emerge into a totally different form of this reality system, humanity triumphs in a far better timeline in which the truth is allowed to be expressed and we restore our liberties. We are said to have won. As we approach the Christmas season, things might get tense, and the happenings on the outside may seem even more bizarre, if that is even possible. Make every effort not to hold the negativity in your heart, and instead direct your attention to spiritually strengthening yourself, asking for guidance and acting on it, and making plans for how you will be of service after we have gone through this major event together. In the midst of society's disintegration, some of us are gently putting together our own parts to prepare for what is to come and how we may best be of service to mankind in the process. This might be as simple as cleaning up the pieces of shattered family connections or as complex as assisting people in understanding these changes and what is occurring on the planet throughout the ascension cycle, among other things. It is certain that some will be unwilling to change, and as a result, they will be forced to leave since there will be no turning back, it is either time to adjust to the new reality or time to go. Although this is a sophisticated subject that I have touched on in bits in a number of different seminars and newsletters, many of you who are new to the program may not have heard or read the earlier material. Please do not allow dread to creep into your thoughts as a result of this knowledge. There has never been a better moment to overcome fear, calm your mind, and deepen your connection with God and Christ consciousness. Connect with the things that make you laugh, that make you feel loved and thankful, and focus your attention on the things that have significant importance for you in your life. God, as well as our loving Christos family, are on our side. They are working quite hard on our behalf, and there are many strange things occurring that are blessings that will allow us all to possibly see miracles in the near future. Do not be swayed by fear-based narratives about what the world seems to be like on the outside, for this is not the case. There are many excellent and beneficial things occurring for mankind right now that we cannot see because they are taking place on the inside. Because it will occur at God's perfect time and because this change will require us to investigate a new society, we will need to be flexible, adaptive, and linked to our hearts as well as to God's sanctifying spirit. 
we're going to work through this together. As long as you continue to watch or listen to our YouTube channel and complete our tasks, in addition to spreading the word about this information, you may share your opinions about this video in the comments box at the bottom of this page. Our website has much more material, which may be read by clicking on the links given below the video description. Our thanks and appreciation for your help will endure into eternity. Accept my heartfelt appreciation for taking the time to watch DNA Awakening.